morning guys so today I'm going to do a pour I have no idea what kind of pour I'm going to do um, I did add some of the satin enamel in my white and we'll see if it creates the cloud um, you should be able to uh, keep your stick up in the center of the paint <clears throat> once it's mixed. So I did a two parts Floetrol, one part paint um, for my Artist Loft white, and then I added a little bit of the satin amount of enamel, about a tablespoon. Might be too much, but we will find out soon enough. Um, this is uh, Quinectodome Magenta mixed with white to get a little bit of a lighter color. And that is also mixed two parts Floetrol, one part paint. I have Bright Aqua Green. That too is two parts Floetrol, one part paint. Both of these colors here are um, Liquitex Bas Basics. I'm gonna pin my sweater lower. Um, I'm not sure what color this, I, I think this is Prussian Blue. Uh, it's been mixed for a while. It was a little thick, so I did have to add a little bit of water to it. Um, this is mixed two parts water. I'm sorry, two parts Floetrol to one part paint. I have, <clears throat> oh goodness, what is this one? This is a metallic blue. Um, it's, let me see here. Uh, not metallic blue, sorry. This is Art Mines metallic sapphire and uh, it's basically mixed two parts Floetrol to one part paint because it's really thick and this is ultramarine blue by Liquitex Basics and that is two parts Floetrol one part paint as well um, and that's that oh and then I have my gold of course one part Deco Art 24K to one part Floetrol, and it is a bit on the thicker side. So we're just gonna layer it all in a cup, I think. And then we are going to do a pour. A little low energy today, tired. <laughs> So my base coat that I'm gonna put down is um, just two parts Floetrol to one part Artist Loft paint. I didn't add any satin enamel to this either. Well, this one particularly for my base coat. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use the pink, but we'll, we'll see. All right, so. I'm gonna put the satin enamel mix in first. And I'm gonna put some of the gold. The Prussian blue. We'll do the ultramarine blue. We're gonna do some white. Metallic Sapphire by Art Mines. some pink in there not quite sure if it will show up but we'll give it a try
I'm working with a 16 by 20 inch canvas. All right, so I'm gonna coat my canvas and we'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. I'm going to uh, do the pour. I think what I wanna do is put the rest of the gold in the center. right on top of that. I can already tell I'm probably not gonna like the pink on top here, so. Pardon me. All right, so 
I know I let a lot of paint go, but I absolutely love the outcome. questionable on this corner here but I'm hoping when I torch it some gold comes up Okay, I'm gonna bring you guys in. I'm not sure what you're seeing over there, but when you come in closer, <clears throat> it almost looks like watercolor effect. Um, and I love, I love that effect. Um, I don't get it very often, but when I do, it's it's really pretty. It's almost like the some of the colors are sheer over, you know, it's a sheer overlay. And I'm not talking about the gold in this situation. I'm talking about the pinks or the the connected all magenta mixed with the ultramarine, and then right in here is the Prussian blue. Um, when you stretch it out, sometimes that thin, then it it creates this stained glass waterfall not waterfall watercolor effect um and i just think it is so cool so i'm not sure what effect we're going to call it but <clears throat> maybe nothing for now but i do love love the stained glass look to it I'm just scroll out here and you can see the whole piece. There's a lot going on. I really like how wide the bands got. <clears throat> I'm just not feeling well. Sorry, guys. Um, and uh, so that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really sorry I didn't have much energy. Um, I think I'm getting sick. Uh, so, but I wanted to get painting done. I just love the look of this. It's very funky. And I'm glad I didn't get too much of the pink in there. As I regretted it after I put it in the cup and let it sit. But thanks so much for watching, guys. You guys have a great day. Bye.